Would you look at that? Master Da Vinci is being pursued. He must have passed through this room. But where did he head from here? Uh, into his flying saucer to the planet Jupiter, obviously. <laughs> Alright, I'm back after a break. It's jarring, oddly, to play a game with this aesthetic and that feels this familiar and, be and realize that I didn't beat it in one, in one day. This is a surprisingly long one. Well, this room looks overwhelming. Look at this thing. Look at this straight up spaceship we have here. <laughs> what are you? Is this a control mechanism? Okay. It's not a lever. I think things will be put on top of those. A sophisticated lockbox. I wonder what's inside. I can't zoom in, I can't put this in then. I thought these might be the controls. I think you put two controls in these things, and then you somehow move something around. I think I need to find stuff around the room first. Yes, this is what Spiderweb looked like. Ooh. Skull, skull, skull. This ship likes to party. We have a hatch. Eh. Eh. I like how it falls out of the hinge, by the way. It's a minor thing, but there's a... There's a certain satisfaction you get from the from games like this when you can like drag stuff around and they slightly cheat you of that. It's the most minor thing ever, but they slightly cheat you of that with some of these little pull things where this is just me clicking. Like I'm not you you can't drag it. It just the click does the full animation. And I'm like, "No, you had like a texture thing going on for the majority of the game." And that weird texture of manually moving stuff around is like really satisfying. One of the war machines Leonardo invented at, uh, crap, it went away. For Cesar Borgia. Weren't the Borgias like the villain in Assassin's Creed? Ooh? And also probably reality? <laughs> is, there, is there all based on reality on some level? <laughs> um, what am I looking at over there? Hello, cannon. That looks dangerously like a Rubik's Cube, and I really hope it's not. Oh, it's one of these little bastards. Oh. So in one of the escape rooms I keep going to, we, we always find these, like, wooden constructs where there's, like, a cube. Hello. There will be a, uh, a bunch of weird-shaped pieces of wood, and you're, you're clearly supposed to fit them together into some kind of cube or something. Although... In those guys' cases, because there's no example photo of what it's supposed to look like, it's always kind of frustrating, because I'm like, what is it even supposed to look like when I solve it? Escape rooms often have, like, mm, puzzles in the lobby just to keep you busy when you're idling. And waiting for your turn. And your scheduled appointment and whatnot. You have been warned, but did not heed. Now your pleas and explanations will come too late. You will soon discover who is the better man. I will not make the same mistake again. I know your secrets. Whatever that... Is. Claire? Seafarb? <laughs> I can't read that. I can't read that re That recipe. The, uh, whatever that guy's name is. Am I supposed to do something with you? Do I... I thought I might have to solve the wood blocks, but it might not come to that. I might just put it somewhere, or put something in it to open it. Oh, maybe you put something on the top and then the whole thing falls apart and there's something inside that's like your reward or whatever. It's just another complicated way of doing that. Okay. So it's a puzzle where every time you cross an intersection it will rotate. 
Isn't that interesting? Okay. So this needs to be facing this way in order for me to go across to the end. Because you basically want to reverse solve these, right? So if I go this way, it has to already be rotated once, so I have to cross it once before then, too. Maybe I should just te do a test run first. So go forward this way, you get trapped. Except you can go- no, you can go that way. If you want to go that way. Okay. Well, that blocked every single road in that direction, so it probably wasn't the best call. If it looks like I'm flailing blindly, it's because I literally am. Because sometimes I just solve things on my, like, my first go, and I'm like, well, well, good thing I didn't overthink that by trying to plan it all out. <laughs> but, let's see. If I go this way, it'll close behind me, and I'll be completely trapped. Can't go that way, so I have to go this way, basically. Which might trap me anyway. Or not. Kind of reminds me of that line in the puzzle game we played. Well, that's encouraging, the way that rotated like that. Like, oh yeah, there we go. Beat on my first try, only slightly planning a few moments of it. Oh, and you get to keep it. Emerald topped gold fitting. That might go in there. Wait, no, it can't go in there because this thing doesn't have a plus sign. Lack of plus sign means you can't combine it with anything. It means you put it in the environment. That's one of the puzzles that's on the Steam, uh... On the Steam, uh... Store page. Those are three weights. This must be the place where Leonardo tests the accuracy of his weaponry. Oh, they're not weights. They're... Targets? Did Leonardo really have those kinds of resources? I'm just baffled. I'm just blown away by, like, this... this place as a whole I know that he like was an ideas man but I thought he didn't I thought he didn't build the stuff usually or something and he just like drew them up mostly but maybe, or maybe this is a fantasy version where all of his stuff it does exist for real because it would be a much less interesting series of puzzles if everything was just a drawing of something that might be made someday but maybe not joystick not joystick joystick what Okay. Fell through the bottom. Weird. I don't have information about the crest yet either. Okay. Ah, uh, it's one of those puzzles where every single one of them rotates different numbers of the cranks. So this rotates the two on the left, this rotates two on the right, this one rotates... Oops, I missed it. This one rotates those ones. Getting three skulls shouldn't be very hard. Wow. We move at very different speeds. Can we get there sometime this century? Come on. No. Can I go in circles? No, I can't. I think the skull's next. There it is. Skull, 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 right? Knock, knock. Who's there? No? Is that a button? No. Isn't that what you wanted from me? I can't- I can't walk across it. Maybe they all have to be skulls? Ah. 
These controls are actually really frustrating, because they're t the same way of controlling the camera. And I have to do this swipe over and over again. So I was rotating it that way. So I should rotate this one left. Right? Let's try going this way and maybe it'll take me back to that. That doesn't bode very well. Okay. So we're close to having five skulls. These rotate in opposite directions. So when they're both off by one, we get to the right spot. Can I just rotate you guys? These ones match pace. Let's see, these go in opposite directions. Did I just do the opposite of help? <laughs> or did I just undo the previous issue, basically? Um... I think the idea is that I need to rotate both of them by, like... ...equal amounts, so that they- so that we can re-correct them back to being skulls. I'm getting all mixed up here. I got myself all mixed up here, didn't I? Just try to fix it real quick if I can. Uh, I can't now. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> I should probably try to assign mathematical values to them. Let's see, yeah, you'd be offset in opposite directions, then you can correct them. Yeah. I should probably offset... Let's see. I'm trying to think of whether it's worth it to, whether, whether it's worth it or not to try to assign like an actual mathematical value to each one, because I could... I could write down as a value how much each one changes per turn. Like, one rotation equals one sign change, or one-fifth of a sign change, or whatever the hell the center one is, because the center one's the slow one. And based on that, I might be able to come up with how much I need to offset it. Because basically what I think I need to do is I need to offset... I need to make the two on the left and the two on the right different from their partner by enough that when I correct them, they'll come back to, to be the right symbol again. I also don't know for sure if this is even the actual solution. I might be imagining... I might be working towards a solution that's not even true. I want to look back at the diagram again. Oops. No. No. There we go. That might be the important thing. What if it's the symbols? Like, what if it's not about... Okay... I might not need- I might not need to get them all to five sc to... Skulls. It's kind of a, just a goal I kind of started setting for myself midway through, honestly. What if I just need to get... The outside ones to be skulls? Which 
shit. What if it's just about the outside ones being skulls and the two inner ones being something else? That's where things will get interesting though, right? Because I need to shift this one and then shift this one back. Until they both land on something else. Be, I wish I could re hit the reset button on this so it would go back to its original things, just so I could work with it a little easier. Let's see here. So these, if, I, if it is skull, space, skull, space, skull... I think these symbols might mean that it could, the other two could be anything, but they have to be the same? Like ditto quotes or whatever? So I basically just need to do like micro adjustments, kind of, so I can land somewhere else. I'm trying to be consistent, so I'm gonna try to make the left ones go up, like this upward motion, and these ones are gonna go down so I can make them go in opposite directions so that the middle can rebalance when I'm done. I need you to land on something. Oops. Broke my rule immediately. This is if I get all the way back. This gets me back on the skulls. Okay, so they haven't- these two haven't landed on the same thing yet. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'll just go to the next, go to the next symbol, basically, then go back to skull. Go to the next symbol. That's a good sign. And go back to skull. There we go. The heck does that go? Okay. Okay. These are interesting. Two of them are like full stars, two of them point right, two of them point left. And they're not broken. They're not broken and missing half the star because they're clearly off-center. Or like, or they are centered in that they're not off-center. Like, the, it's not just one half's missing and the other half is where it normally would be. Oh. Okay. So it's a combination lock. You're not going to tell me the... Alright. So looking into the past is not going to tell me the combination, apparently. There's also a key. A heavy grate with a strong lock. So I need to come back when I get a combination and a key. So I kind of got nothing out of that. <laughs> For now. But it's behind us. Doesn't that kind of dead end me, though? What's left to solve? I solved that. That's how I got this. I've tried putting this in various places and they don't go anywhere, I think. There's a weird little divot there, but I think that's just graphical conflicts. Those are two-dimensional, so they're not- they're not interactive. Just this hatch. Can I open it with magic? Yep, that's what it is. 
When you think you're stuck, figure out what thing in the room can be opened with magic. The reoccurring thing in this game. What is happening here? What am I looking at exactly? I think, okay. So I think every single one of these bars is blocking. They're all blocking the edges of the door. So I need to remove all of them? How? Huh. I can put, like I can make three of them sit like this. And then they're not blocking the door. But I need to make the other two sit somewhere too. This one's got a weird side divot. What? No, stop. I want you to sit in that. Why is that thing there if it won't, if it won't sit there? Why won't you rotate? There we go. Oh, look at you. You got a weird thing in the way. That means you can't really go anywhere besides kind of slide into the side of it. Like, I can slide this here, but I can't rotate it anywhere. That raises a question. If I do you, you won't sit there. And this also blocks the sword, the side of the door. What the heck do I do with that then? What? What do you want from me? It blocks the door here, but if I move it, it, it won't unblock the door. I can't rotate it out. So how do I move it then? At all? And are these different sizes or what? Can these things come out? No. And what's up with this? And what are the rules here? So it won't stay here. It slides back out, and I don't know why, because there's clearly a slot. So what do you want from me? Can they go through the? Oh, they can come out diagonally. They'll even kind of stay out there. What does that mean? You won't come down now. Why won't it come into this little divot now? Okay, that kind of gives me places to store these guys, kind of. But there are all these spots are blocked right now. I'm just not sure what the rules are. So it'll stay still like that. Weird. When they're like that, they're blocking though, right? Like you can't get out? Or are they safe? Because they clearly- they seem to c cover- uh, block- go past the boundaries. But they're not in the locks, so like maybe then... Does it open outward or inward? The hinge... Okay, the hinge is on that side, so it probably opens... I think it opens that way. Yeah. Okay. So I think... So I think as long as it's not in the six side hooks, then it'll open? Why won't you go there? Okay. But like... Um... Well, I'm, I might have it now, regardless. Okay. Sure. What did I do? <laughs> Can I zoom in? Can I zoom in? To look at the thing that I found? 
It's apparently lit inside there. Can I go in? Do I just have to drag stuff at it? Can I drag this? What? What? <laughs> what did I accomplish? I don't know what I accomplished. I can't... There's a socket there, but I can't zoom in on it. I'm clicking like crazy. And I can't drag anything onto it. By the way, are these things interactive at all? Can I... I think I looked at it kind of. It looks pretty... It looks pretty static. Gotta make sure these aren't like mechanisms or something. You in particular really feel... Uh... You are a mechanism. You are a puzzle box, kind of. So you really just gotta pull on everything, maybe? Maybe there's like a specific combination that needs to be pulled out? We have a key. A small metal key. And this thing, I guess, is just gonna get thrown away now. That's a fun item. And now it's in a hole somewhere, I guess. Let me look at it. Well, it looks like a water wheel, so maybe water needs to come down at it? Can I zoom in on that thing? There's like a hatch. The fact that this thing's made of wood and has water constantly going directly on top of it just feels like bad maintenance. Maybe it's really, really furnished. Or finished, or whatever. Wrong key. Okay. The symbols here are cross, right, uh, what? Okay. Was not expecting there to be an empty part. Okay. Misjudged that one. A wooden handle. Got little hooks and whatnot. Can I open it or anything? No, so I probably stick it somewhere. It's probably just a lever. Okay. That was unexpected. <laughs> ah, that might be what goes in the... over here. Sometimes you... I like the touch that when you leave that staircase, he turns around and walks back up, but everywhere else, if I right-click, I, I, I moonwalk everywhere. No? That's the handle part. That's something with hooks on it. How it goes in, probably. Can't look at the puzzle wall anymore. This area is just kind of here. There's like boards down there instead of bricks, it looks like. I don't think I can look at it, though. Seemed like it, it seemed like it could be a secret. 